Hi guys, I'm back again with a small Zares haul. This is just some of the stuff I couldn't really get at Walmart. So anyway, let's get started. I've not seen these before, but this is breaded white meat chicken strips, and they were a dollar. As everybody probably knows, meat is so expensive, so sometimes you have to get this kind of stuff. So we got those. We're going to try them, see how they are. We also got some sandwich meat, 50 off of 769, 50 off 519, and 50 off of 572. All of this I will make into a bunch of sandwiches for my husband's work. I individually wrap them, put them in the freezer bag, and throw them in the freezer. And then he just takes them out either... Well, in the winter, he, he'll take them out in the morning to let them defrost. In the summer, he just takes them out from the freezer, and by the time he has lunch, they're always defrosted. And no, they do not go soggy. However, I would not put vegetables with the sandwich if you're putting it in the freezer. Put that separately in another container. They can always put that on themselves. Anyway, let's get to more. My husband loves crushed candy cane. He likes it in his hot chocolate. He likes it in all kinds of things. So they had these on for nine cents a pound or something. So we went and got, I think, five bags, and it cost us like a dollar for the five bags. So that's pretty cool. He also got these at their little reduced section. Now, these are actually quite expensive if you're purchasing them regular price, but he got them for a dollar fifty four which is not bad and he got two of them there so he'll take those for snacks for work we got diced tomatoes not on sale couldn't find any that were on sale those I believe were a dollar forty nine that was the cheapest we could find and we needed some diced tomatoes so we got a can also got some milk I believe with the 50 off it comes to like a dollar seventy something so yep Milk's so, so, so expensive. It's ridiculous. We also got one of these. My husband likes these, but we only ever buy them when they're 50 off because they are quite expensive and there is only two in it. It's like a yogurt with dark chocolate and almonds in it. So, yeah. So I got those you can have for a snack for a couple days. Eggs. Everywhere I see online, people are like, Oh my gosh, there's no eggs. There's no eggs. Well, we have eggs. Um, they're really expensive eggs. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. But Zares had their eggs on, or at least these ones, which were in the middle freezers, you know, in the middle of the aisle thing, um, for $1.99. The $1.99 ones were not with the other eggs, the more expensive eggs. So you have to kind of look for these ones. But that's not bad, $1.99, so we went and got some. Um, ground beef, always expensive, but this is pretty pretty good compared to it usually being like $26 or something like that. So there you go, that's $13.84. I'll probably cut this into like six. We do like to have a lot of meat in our meals and stuff, but nowadays it's just too expensive. So I just look at it as, as long as we have a little bit of protein in certain things like chili and spaghetti and that, you know, that will do. Cause it's just the way you have to do things now, things are so expensive. Also, my husband wanted french fries, which we don't get a lot now. Cause again, price, I believe these were 2.29, I think. Yeah, so it is his birthday. Yeah, that I'm filming this, so I said, sure, why not? And that's pretty much all I got. I think this came to like $47 or something like that. So it's, I think because of the meat, you know, the $10 thing, 13 for the meat and stuff, that's pretty much where all the money came. But, you know, that is everything and that is all we need. And until next time, guys, bye and have a great day.